So welcome to today's Your Power Echo Show. Let's find the mouse and stop the music. Right. Enough of the jamming. Right. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Julie Sylvia Kalunji. I am a mom of two. I am a wife to one. I work from home. I've been doing so for the last six years and I love to help the marketer the business owner, the entrepreneur, to leverage social media. In other words, to use social media, to use the digital space as your marketplace and get paid on purpose. Uh, you have a gift, you have a talent, you have skills you want to monetize. Let's get you organized. Let's create a product or let's find one that fires you up. Let's create, let's find the, light, the right audience and get you paid on purpose. So if you are any of those things and you are kind of confused you don't know what to do you are you've been running stuff for a while and things don't seem to just get together the t's are not crossing and the i's are not dotting that chain won't connect just book a free strategy session with me and let's get connected so just pop over to my inbox let's chat i've been known to help people get out of confusion and spool that thread and be getting paid in five weeks flat what could that do for you in your life, in your business? What bills would you pay if you get to start getting some money coming in in five weeks? Extra money maybe? Working to a full-time job? I don't know. I've been doing that for six years and I'm still here. So I must be doing something right, right? So don't sit at home and think, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk. And then you can decide whether you want to have a deeper chat with me or you will Carry on as you were. Seka Josephina, how are you doing? Halima Namsoka, you've been invited by Courtney Agnes. So thank you, Courtney, for inviting. You're a rock star. As you join, hit an emoji. Like I said, introduce yourself if you're new. Tell me where you are from. I am from the UK. Um, I wasn't born in UK, but I live in UK now and it's home. It's been home for 20 years, so I don't consider any other place home. So uh, that's how it is. Right. Where am I? UK. I've just said that. I've said that several times. UK. That's where I am. So I live in the United Kingdom. I am happily married. So Toji Kuatako. I have two amazing humans that God gave me as a gift. So I'm, I'm called mother, but I'm also proud to call myself a business coach or a life coach, depending on where you're coming from and what you want me to help you with. So um, don't wait with a problem. Let's help you grow. Book a, book a chat with me. It's free. 25 minutes, we shall determine what you need. Or if I can't help you, chances are I know who can because I hang around in the business sector, in the, in the coaching uh, sector. So I, I may be able to point you in the right direction. I am focusing purely on helping marketers and business owners grow their businesses. So programs I'm focusing on, Kalunji Group. Kalunji Group. If you pop over to kalunjigroup.com and you click on products, you'll find exactly what I am dealing with and I'm working on at the moment. Um, top on my agenda are two programs, uh, Jet Set Academy Coaching, where I teach people in small groups uh, every Tuesday and every Thursday in a focused way on how to grow their businesses online. Uh, and uh, every day, every blessed day, I show up in my private exclusive mastermind and that one's called the Word Nation, where I teach a strategy, a tip, a hack, what's trending, what's going on, what's working now, what's not working, and how to work your way around your business. And above all, I focus on your mind because the, there is no enemy that can attack you more than the enemy right here inside of you. If you don't work on you, you will not break through. So understand that the people who are scaling their heights and breaking boundaries and expanding their boundaries in their lives have hacked their brain they had they know how to deal with their reptilian brain which is all about flight fight or run 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 so they know how to deal with that and they they can they stand guard at the door of their mind and they know what to let in and what to not allowed to enter so let's look at the top question shall we so someone's asking me <laughs> someone said julie i'm struggling i'm struggling in my business but i notice i'm not the only one why do network marketers struggle now first of all i'll tell you the top reason before i go in right before i go deeper into why do network marketers struggle the reason why network marketers struggle 
are the unrealistic expectations that they put on themselves, specially fueled by their uplines and success lines and network marketing companies. Um, and that's the top reason, unrealistic expectations. Number two, the, the second top reason is uh, lack of skills, really lack of skills. Um, I do not know a traditional successful business person who does not invest in either outsourcing the skills they don't know or in learning the skills they need to know in order to grow. Apart from network marketers, on average, most of them, 97%, don't want to know anything other than I've invested in a business and I want money to flow out of the other pipe. Like you just turn on the water and the, the money flows. It's not going to happen. Number three, and these are the three. I, I don't think there are any other reasons why network marketers fail. Lack of the right mindset. The wrong mindset. So again, I told you, if you don't stand guard at the door of your mind, you will not succeed. So let me go in a little bit deeper into that question because um, it kind of gave me food for thought. Um, most people, there are lots of people who do earn large amounts of money in network marketing. Uh, we have one of them here, Simon Kendrick, and uh, that's about 3%. Sometimes it's even less. It's a known fact, though, that 97% struggle. And a large majority of that number quits. And that's when you fail. When you quit is when you fail. So I've come to understand that the reasons are those three unrealistic expectations uh, where you see people succeeding overnight. You are part of uh, your network marketing company groups or campfires, as I call them, with a uh, WhatsApp group, Facebook group, where people are, are recruiting every day. They are, they are splashing their success in your face. And if you do not have the right mindset, you'll take that the wrong way. If you don't have the right mindset, you'll start to think, I can't do this, people are succeeding, I can't do this, I can't do that. If you have the right mindset, that will fire you up to do what needs to be done to succeed. So the reason people fail is because the majority of people do not have that mindset to succeed. Because they come into network marketing with an employee mindset, nothing wrong with employees, I love employees, there's nothing wrong with jobbing, I did that for a, a heck of a long time. But you cannot bring a mindset of whereby you go to work and someone pays you a wage, whether you are in or not, to now you are the boss and you have to make the wage happen. The two are two different mindsets and they cannot work together if you are building a distributorship. So to succeed in any business, network marketing especially, um, you need specialized skills. And the very first thing <clears throat> that you need to work on is that mindset of an employee so that you can allow yourself the pleasure and the privilege of investing in you. You're the boss now. See, your company may invest in you to go on training for management, for whatever, whatever skills they want you to in, to up level, they may pay for it and they just send you off and you take a day off. And I'll tell you what, personally, I used to take those that, like a day off when I would be sent off to do, you know, a training day, a bonding day, uh, you know, a personal development day. It was one of those days when you, you spent the day laid back, you went to some big hall somewhere, someone taught you some stuff, you ate free food, free drinks, and you, you were usually let off around three. So it was a short day. I enjoyed those. But usually I wasn't really open to learning anything. I really wasn't because I didn't go to these events with the mindset of, I need to learn so I can up-level my skills and, and, and become better. It was more or less me thinking, I've got, I've got a day off. Now you are the boss. There is no such thing as a day off unless you've created the income to give yourself a day off. So there are two skills you need to master. Marketing, promoting, or advertising. Everything else is window dressing. And very few network marketers actually bother to learn those skills. They are busy chasing their own tails. They are busy pasting and copying. They are busy posting their links on social. They are busy um, complaining, complaining. So I don't know if I'm making sense, but that I know that is why network marketers fail. Um, sales are the life the lifeblood of any business. Any business you want to succeed at, you want to dial in your selling. Let me just get that looking ah, that's better if you die if you don't dial in your selling if you don't get sales in you will not make money hey grace Inganga, how are you doing so you must act you must act like an entrepreneur you must um 
get jiggy with prospecting you must get dig in and really plant yourself in inviting people to take a look in presenting in closing in teaching leading and selling you those are all the things you have to learn in order to build your network marketing business i'll say them again because they're very very important for those of you that are doing network marketing prospecting inviting presenting closing teaching leading and selling now inside of prospecting is something called follow-up and most trainers will tell you the fortune is in the follow-up and that's absolutely true because the person you're following up with has already got an idea what it is you are sharing with them and what it is you're following up with as opposed to someone who has no idea and you have to kind of warm them up and and and, and marinate them and get them to see what it is you are doing so when you do those things together you have just created your ability to generate leads now leads in network marketing, in online marketing, in home-based business are the lifeblood of your business because you could get traffic, but if none of those is catching your vision, if none of those is seeing where you're coming from and, and saying, oh, I want to know more, you won't go far. So leads. So you need traffic. And out of that traffic, you need leads who you will then invite to take a look at what you share. From leads, you get customers. From leads, you get team members. You build a team that makes you money. Uh, you don't learn these skills. There's no money. And network marketers struggle because they don't learn these skills. Very few people start businesses with these skills. On average, I didn't know these skills. I mean, prospecting, inviting, presenting, closing, teaching, I was good at because I was already an NBQ assessor. Leading, I, I, can, I must say, I think I was good at. Selling, I thought I was not a salesperson. I thought sell, selling was those people who knock on your door and they want to sell you conservatories. So in my mind, I wasn't a good salesperson. So the good news is all these skills can be learned. I learned them. You can too. I am a mother. I was frustrated for two years. I was miserable as fuck. I was mean. I was grumpy. I, I, I moaned at everybody. I complained for England. I cried most nights. Nobody knew I was crying because they were all upstairs and I was downstairs. But when, when the light shone on me, when, when I was remembered, when I was shown an opportunity, I was ready. I was open. I was ready. And I went for it like a hungry tiger with cubs because I have children. So are you hungry? Most network marketers are not hungry enough because most of you have a job and so you feel like I'm getting some money coming in. So even if there are bills that kind of get pushed over and over and there's more month than money, you are not hungry enough because there's some food on the table. When you're hungry, you will go hunt. When you're hungry, you will go eat. Network marketers struggle because they do not have that hunger and they do not create a sense of urgency in order to build a business. I see so many people mothers young women young men posting in groups day after day after day posting in the same groups and getting no engagement whatsoever no acknowledgement no recognition nobody is even bothered with what you're posting there and you keep doing it every day uh, that's the definition of insanity isn't it doing the same thing every day getting no results you get no leads you have no funnel you have no system you have no process you have no plan and you are thinking you are going to succeed. I don't know anyone new to network marketing who has the right leadership skills to build a network marketing business. So again, most reps and distributors never run a business before because they've never run a business before. So you struggle because you don't have the right skills, mindset, and you have been lied to ish usually there's a bit of hype in every presentation in every presentation there's a bit of hype in there somewhere you're going to make money you're going to you're sold the dream and you buy into the dream without the desire to build the dream right Jeep, how you doing so let's get into some marketing for you because i haven't seen another question so i can answer this one much more if if you want me to I'm going to give you three quick tips and if there is another question i'll answer it and if there is none we'll shut the party down because we will not hang around i don't want to spend your time i want you to invest it wisely with me 
if you are focused, right, and you want success, and you want success this year, because we are going into the sixth month of the year, and some of you are still, you know, baby bears, as my coach says. You want to be babied, you want to succeed, but you want to behave like children. And you are the boss, so you can't behave like children. You are an adult, and you probably are a parent yourself, so you need to stop behaving like a child. So you want to cut your learning curve. I'll share with you seven more tips. I've got three tips I'm going to share with you, I think. And then I'll let you ask for seven more. I have seven more because I know exactly what you need to do to build that network marketing business. I've been there, done that, got the tip. I'm still here. So if you want those seven, in addition to the three, I'm going to very quickly share with you. Type seven in the comment below. Even if you're watching the replay and you type seven in the comments below, I will send you the rest of the seven tips in an audio so you can listen to it anywhere. You can download it and just tune in. You can download it and write them down if you want to write them down. Uh, usually I do audios and downloadables, but I've come to learn that uh, you, it, it's, you, don't, you don't want to be giving people, uh, spoon feeding you. I don't want to spoon feed you because that's why you are failing. You are, there's so much information out there that you feel you can build your business on the freemium. And I don't know any successful business owner that did not invest in the growth of that business, in the marketing of that business, in, the, in their personal development, in the development of their staff as the staff grows. And if you are the business owner and you think you're going to grow your business by posting on social media every day and, and hoping that you will, you will make it happen just like that for free, you are not going to grow a business. And I'm not one to want to compound a problem. There is already a stigma in your industry because people think it's a scam. And the reason people think it's a scam is the three reasons I've given you. The idealistic approach, the lack of skills, and the poor mindset. So, hey, Kyra King, how are you doing? Liz Francini, how are you doing? So if you want to receive seven more tips on how to create success in your business, type seven in the comments below. I'll send it to you. Make sure we are connected because you will, otherwise you'll find it in your in your junk folder if you don't know where the junk folder is you'll never see the message so make sure we are connected send me a quick friend request or just let me know in the comments below that we're not friends please send me a friend request i will accept so number one the biggest thing that you don't know is you don't know what drives people to buy you are a buyer but you never ask yourself why do i buy stuff because you don't you don't need to it is not something you need to ask yourself you are not building a business so you never have to know why do people buy what drives people to buy we humans i'll talk for myself i don't know about you but i am a very emotional woman i am powerful of energy you see me when i come when i'm like hi guys how you doing i'm julia la 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 energy and i have to calm myself down in order to bring you the goodies but um the reality is most people don't think about that. We are emotional beings. We buy with our hearts. We are led by our emotions. We react and respond to situations based on our mood of the day. If, you're, if you are in a good mood, chances are something happens that's not necessarily exciting. You might not get down the, the wrong road. If you are having a bad day and something happens to you, even if somebody brings you an opportunity, you will not see the good in it because you're already down on the slide. Hey, Sean, how are you doing? So I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. It was one of the first lessons that got me to think about what I was doing and how I was doing it and got me to change the way I looked at my business in network marketing. And therefore, that's when I know that's when the tide turned for me humans are emotional beings we're not robots so we make most decisions based on the emotional pool and we justify it with the reasoning and the logic you will justify why you bought another pair of shoes with well my friend's getting married and i'm gonna be the matron you have like 30 other pairs of shoes but none of those will do because your best friend is getting married and it is emotional so let me give you another example. You know you need to release some weight, right? And your friend buys you a box of chocolate on your birthday. And it sits there and you look at it every day and you're like, I'm supposed to lose weight. I'm supposed to lose weight. And then you have a, you have a very uh, 
traumatic experience at work and you come home and you, you say, I need to calm down. I, I, I genuinely, I, I, I just need a chocolate because I need to calm down. I've had a bad day at work. And you will justify your bad choice with the bad day at work. It's all emotion. So if you want to sell stuff that helps people look sexier on the beach, sell sex on the beach. <laughs> Excuse my German. Tell, tell people how you wanted you you were going on a vacation you wanted to look good on your vacation you had piled on a few after your last baby and you really needed to release some and you found this supplement vitamin product service personal trainer whatever it is you're you're, you're selling that has helped you get to that shape and show off that shape show off that shape sell the dream when you present to a prospect when you're presenting your business to a prospect as a network marketer are you focusing on their emotions or you're focusing on the contents of your supplement and how it was created by so so and so and how it's the best product on the market who gives a shit it could be the best product on the market but i can't afford it as some people will say and immediately keep themselves in that state but i can't afford it and immediately they are saying, I will not have that product because they are immediately creating that mindset of, I will not be buying this. So there will be no money to buy it. And therefore, universe is hearing you. The law of attraction is working 24-7 for you. And it hears you saying, I can't afford it. And will say, okay, we'll make sure you can't afford it then because you can't. The only way you can touch people's emotions is by sharing the story or someone's story, or your story, or a story. It is a land art. See, when you're young, when you're young, what did you used to enjoy the most? I used to enjoy sitting down on my grandmother's lap and listening to her tell me stories and literally woo me to sleep. I learned a lot of my culture and traditions through stories told by my grandmother. I didn't sit in any specific particular class in school and got taught traditions and culture stories i could not get enough of them and here's another thing when you are in a state of emotion and you're experiencing an event or or and or something's happening around you what happens it's embedded it's buried deep in your memory if you think about the things that you remember from when you were young, if there was no emotion attached to it, you will never remember it. Ever. Because you do, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. So when you are selling your network marketing business, remember you are talking to a human being and that they are a vessel of emotion packed full of energy waiting to hear whether you are talking their language or you are talking alien gibberish. So tell them what's in it for them with your story, be vulnerable with your emotions. And you know, if you tune people in the YFM, they will tune into your station. The what's in it for me, YFM. <laughs> so um, many times I tell you, figure out the problem, you know, you're solving a problem, blah, blah, blah. You know all that I'm sure your company tells you all that. So. I've just given you something that people pay hundreds of dollars to go and attend an event and be told that. Now, I've already told you the other two, the, the other two tips, but I'm just going to very quickly go through them. Become a professional marketer, learn how to market. It's a skill. I mean, you wouldn't go to a, an amateur doctor. You wouldn't go to, you wouldn't try to hire an amateur engineer. You wouldn't want to go to some, someone who's just learning the trade for something, something that's serious. So why do you think people should come to you and you don't know your trade? So invest in you. Your parents invested in you up to when you became an adult. Now you've got the baton. They passed it to you and you are letting the side down. So invest in your education and you will never lose a penny unless you do not see the value in the education. When you got a job, your last job or your current job, what was the company looking for? 
They were looking for an amateur. Were they looking for a trier? Were they looking for someone who's doing a hobby? They were looking for a pro. Even if you put out a job description and you want a nanny or you want a cleaner or a domestic manager, you want someone who knows what they are doing and who will do the job right. Hey, you don't want to leave your children in the hands of an amateur anyway. I wouldn't. Where I grew up, we did. And um, if you've read my book, you would know what that amateur did to me as a child. In Africa, it is a common occurrence. People leave their children in the, in the care of someone who has never had a child, number one, and who doesn't know how to look after themselves and who has an agenda. They call them housemaids. And, uh, well, the, the gory stories children are visited on by these people is unbelievable. But let's get back to marketing. You get hired to do a job because you show up and say you are capable, extremely and supremely qualified to do that job. But then you get into network marketing and you come with yourself as an empty vessel, but you refuse to be filled with the right information. Instead, you pick up all the, the, the everything that everybody throws out that does not serve you. It serves them, but it doesn't serve you. They give you a piece of a half a slice of a loaf. And you think that's the whole loaf. And you go away to implement that in your business. I don't need to pay for a course because I went for the webinar and she said I can do X, Y, Z. And therefore, this is what I'm going to do. And then I'll get results. But you forget that that person who invited you to the webinar actually invited you for the whole loaf. And you refused the loaf. And you decided to go with the half slice. And then you wonder why you struggle. And you wonder why your business does not grow. You wonder why people do not hear you. You're not speaking their language. You're tuning into 97.6 FM and they're on 80.8 FM. There is no way you are going to hear each other. If you are in my car uh, and you want to tune into um, 88.1 FM, but you are 76.9, you will not hear anything from 88.1. You would hear, you'll hear static, you'll hear a bit of noise, you might hear bad music, but you won't hear what you're looking to hear. So if you are wanting to tune into other people's emotions, you want to tune in at their level. You want to speak their emotional language. If you do not speak that language, there is no way in hell you're going to visit success in your network marketing business. You get paid to catch your own check in network marketing. You get paid based on the value you bring in the market in any business and any job you do. You get paid in the value you bring to the market. What value are you adding to the market in order for people to see you as a valuable resource so they can join you or buy from you? The more value you give, the bigger your paycheck. It's as simple as that. People pay money for value. No one ever paid money for money unless they are doing foreign exchange and they're going to travel or they're going to buy goods in a different currency. In which case, there is a reason where that money they are buying is going. On average, they are going to pay for value somewhere else. So people pay money for value. Money is meant to be used as a means of exchange. So don't expect people to give you their money when you're not giving them value. Many of you show up on social media and give absolutely no value at all and expect people to just buy from you. They're not going to buy. Daily work on you. And that's why I said the reason people don't succeed in network marketing is because they do not have the right skills. Improve on your skills. Learn new skills. Add value to you every day and share freely with people a few tips of what you've learned and invite people to take a deeper walk with you. That's what most trainers do. That's why you're here. So I can share with you what I know and invite you to, to invest in you deeper so that you can learn the bigger, you can get access to the loaf if you want it. And the buffet, it's not just a loaf, there's a whole buffet waiting for you. So if you are selling a product that people can see the results of, right? You have to become the billboard for your product. I'll say that again. You must become the billboard for your product if you're selling a product that requires certain results that can be seen, touched, tasted. Most of you are selling products that are for beauty, fashion, health, and wellness. 
you cannot sell the dream looking like a nightmare. Absolutely not. So, unless your product is a product that cures a disease, which I don't know, are you a pharmaceutical? But hey, let's not go there. But they, because there are some products that actually help alleviate some, some pains, some diseases and some things. But I'll tell you that if you do not show results from your personal experience, and by the way, it doesn't have to be you personally, because you could have a mother who has a problem. You could have a sister, a dad, an uncle. And so you got involved in that business to support your family member. There is the story. There is your billboard. After all, companies, uh, CEOs don't stand on billboards. They hire models. So there you go. There is your uncle. There are your model. Your mom's your model. They may not necessarily appreciate you splashing them on social, but if you share the story in an integral way and in a sensitive way, people will get the idea, especially if you say, my friends know my mom's been suffering from arthritis for years and she was in pain. She got to a point she was in a wheelchair. She could not walk. I was in pain watching her struggle and suffer until I came across this product. Now, I was skeptical at first because we all are. And uh, then I said, well, what's there to lose? My mom's in pain anyway. If I, we don't help her, then maybe she, we don't want to lose her. So we asked her to try it. And guess what? Three months down the road, my mom can walk. She's running circles around our toddler. Look at them in the garden and you show the camera. Guess what will happen? You will have people inboxing you for whatever that product is. You didn't mention the name. You didn't say the details. You didn't say you talked about someone's journey, someone's pain, someone's troubles, and the results they have today. And you even showed them if they are, if they can be seen. Daily work on you. Become a billboard. Develop brand you. You cannot sell your product otherwise because you have no value added you have no people don't people don't know you 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 want to attract others become someone become someone worth attracting become someone that people find worth joining and working with the better you get the more people will come to you in business People work with professionals. You don't want to go to a fake dentist. You don't want to go to an amateur dentist. You don't want to go to, you don't want to take your family, children, mother, father to a, an amateur or someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. So become a professional in your industry and you will get the results you're looking for. I promise you that. Pro tip, <laughs> act as if you have $1 million loan invested in your network marketing business and it's due in 12 months time. And I promise you, you will pull your finger out and create the agency you need to A, skill up, B, do whatever it takes to build a business. Mm. Now, the final thing is presence, presence, presence. That's all I'm going to share with you. Where are you? Some of you are on Facebook and that's it. You don't, you don't know any other platform. But I'm not saying spread yourself in. I'm saying be there. Just have a presence, um, develop an online presence for your business and protect the house, protect the house. Protecting the house means you know what to consume, you know what you're doing on a daily, you have a daily mode of operation, you have a process you're following and so you are not wasting and spending your time and your life doing things that do not serve you. Because a day once gone is gone. It is gone. A day, we're talking a second. Once gone, it's gone. You will never get it back. So you need to protect your house. Work on you 24-7. And know what you want so that you can see it when it comes to you. So many of us want something, but we have not defined it. So it comes to us and we don't even acknowledge it because we did not define it. create an online presence. I think I've given you enough. My phone's ringing. What I've mentioned is not hard. It's just because we create our hard, we determine our hard. So if you decide it's not hard, it won't be hard. If you decide you want to work hard, that's your portion. It is up to you. You want people to find you online easily, find good stuff about you, lay out the red carpet for them, show them the value you have, 
work on your brain, learn the skills, and your network marketing will be fine. Create evergreen content. I do that right here, right now. I create content that you will find here. I see people checking my videos out and liking them that I did last year, and I'm like, where did they get that? They are checking you out, people. If your presence online does not inspire, how can you inspire someone to even buy your product, let alone join you as a leader to work with you and build a business? How do you show up? So, very important, guys. I haven't seen any further questions, so if you want more of those tips, I've given you three. I have seven more and a whole lot more where that came from. I can share with you. I have two masterminds that I've created. One is Jet Set Academy Coaching. The other one is Wed Nation. You can reach out to me in the private inbox, but before you go to do that, just join our free exclusive Facebook group. It's called Social Creatives Hub. The details are above this video. Click on that link, join our Facebook group. We share value over there every day. There's some resources you can download, you can access, and definitely you'll be joining a community of people who are also walking your, you know, a similar journey as you, so they will not be picking on you or looking their nose down on you. And uh, or simply reach out and let's talk. And uh, that's it. That's the Friday jam was good. I enjoyed the music. And uh, thank you for gifting me your time. <laughs>